Hi everybody and welcome back to Route 7 Railway. It's time to do another corner section of scenery on the layout and the decision I've got to make this time is whether to go uh, fixed scenery like I did in the previous corner or do a lift out which is much more fiddly but could be more interesting. So follow me on this uh, video and it's going to be maybe a two or three parter. So follow me and see how I get on with that job. See you later. Bye. Hi everybody and welcome back to Route 7 Railway. I've just broken my little tripod so I'll have to send off for a new one of them. Just um, pottering in the train room and at the moment I'm just testing a warship that I got off eBay as a non-runner. Uh, there's a couple of things wrong with it. Um, there was wires off inside which I've resoldered. Um, the motor needed stripping down and, and a complete clean and overhaul and also there was a small piece of plastic on the actual uh, motor housing that the body rests on that was broken off and which basically meant that the body was dropping down onto the wheels so I've glued on a small piece of metal to just replace that and I'm testing it to see how it's going and it's actually going quite well and it's a lovely little uh, little loco it's got um, directional lights on it that light up the head code and the cab and it's very nice indeed quite old but in 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 the body is completely unmarked it's great lovely little piece of kit so um i just thought i'd say hello and we'll add on uh, some more work that i'm going to do on the scenery in the next uh, few days onto this video and there we are back in the train room just uh, got a little hitcho it's actually a Deutsche Bahn train pulling some Spanish wagons but I think it just looks nice it's very fun and um, what we're here to do today I'm going to do a little start of more work on this corner and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to cut an access hole into this wall so that when I build the scenery here I've got access to any serious problems in there that I can't reach with my hands from the tunnel portals. Let me just stop this train because in my enthusiasm to run trains I'm letting it get in the way. Hi everybody welcome back. I said in the, earlier in the video that I was going to cut a access hole in the wall over there which I've done on this side which has uh, turned out great and the reason I was going to do that was because I'm finding it too much of fiddly to do a lift out uh, scenery section and then I th said to myself well what I did I actually went and sat down had a coffee had to think about what I was going to do got my tools ready to to crack on with the, with the job and then I said to myself well I'm using this as a training uh, layout and how to practice doing things so I said sod it I'm going to do a lift out on this. I've never done one before. It is a bit fiddly, but I've got to learn. So I'm going to do a complete lift out section on that corner. So here goes. Catch me later. Bye. Right, so what I'm going to do on this section, it's now going to be a lift out. I want this to be a flat area and I'm going to put some sort of road an industrial or residential area on the top here and I'm going to have to drop it in behind this wall and in doing so I need to keep it clear as best I can of that track down there and I've got to be aware that I've got this cupboard here that, so when I do lift it I can bring it out underneath this cupboard so that's going to be a test in itself. I'll cut away now and what I'll do is I'll start doing the basic framework and I'll come back again and show you where I'm at. Okay, bye. Okay, welcome back next instalment. 
I've just had a tidy up after cutting polystyrene as we know it's a complete mess but I found it strangely satisfying hoovering up all the bits of polystyrene I'm not sure if that's scary or not okay so I've got the main platform done that's obviously got to have a few tweaks I've got uh, blocks against, uh, glued against the wall to keep it level I've got it shimmed up here to keep it level that's okay this fascia here and that's all run along the front there is going to be a retaining wall there so what I'm going to do next I'm going to use this modeling board and glue that to the polystyrene and create that front edge and then I'm going to drop it down and glue it to this piece here and because of the shape of that that will only fit in in one position so when that's all glued together this will act as the as the positioning board as it drops in it'll lock it in so it'll be in exactly the right place so I'll get back to you as soon as I've done that I've put some foot fascias on there to act as the working glue the retaining walls too I've just put some reinforcements in there there's a lot more to do and it looks rough as hell but there's plaster cloth to go and there's all sorts to go yet but the whole thing lifts up and this is light that's with one hand picking it up at this stage anyway if I put plaster cloth on it it'll get a bit heavier but I'll obviously use two hands most of the time but that's just to show you it's all very light at the moment and then it goes in locks and hooks in at the back drops onto the supports and then this bit at the front just sits down in there and locks it in and it's it's quite solid so i'm really pleased with that what i'm done now i've uh, those reinforcing green pieces of foam i've cut them down to a rough angle and put some cardboard across because that's they're going to be that's going to be ready for plaster cloth to be draped over there and tucked down behind there but not actually attached to this wall so that the whole thing can lift up. So I'm going to have a little play around now and uh, try and do a little bit more and I'll speak to you on camera I keep forgetting to look at the camera instead of the screen um, so I'll speak to you after bye see ya do you know when you decide you're going to do something on the layout and when you actually come to start that you end up doing something else and not getting round to the one that you started off originally I was going to work on this and I ended up just doing some plaster moulds because I didn't have much time so let's see what they turn out like in the morning some of these plaster molds little rocks i'm going to put on this face here just small pieces of rock sticking out hi everyone just a quick progress report here we go back again here's my latest little bits of work for this bit of scenery i'm trying this now these are self-adhesive brick paper sheets and I've fitted them around pieces of XPS foam I think it's on it's only uh, four milli stuff so I've cut them to size and I'm just going to see what they look like back again hello there's just some hot glue going off in the background now I'll just show you this, they haven't got the buttresses on yet. Now that, that is the look. Now from a distance, I don't think they look too bad. When I've got the buttresses on, they look a little bit better. I'll show you that in a second when I've just stuck them on. I need the hot glue to go off first and then I can mess around with them a bit more. And then I've done pieces like this. Just little blocks of the foam. And that's going to be they're going to be there's going to be capstones put on these but they're going to be 
my buttresses along the way. I've done some like that. The idea being that they can go over the edge like that slightly and sit on the corners. So that might work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick them up and go for it. Okay, there's the, the buttresses on. So they're looking okay, I think. I'm just working on cutting capstones to go over the top on the, to these places and then uh, which will be painted in a like a dark gray and then i'm going to be um, stone like a row of stones capstones joining each of the capstones on the buttresses so that'll look a little bit better so catch you up next time